Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming at you with another video and today we are going to continue opening up booster packs from the Galactic Empires Primary Edition TCG. Now we went, I went and done a little digging and I found a lot of things out about this game and I'll show you a few things as we go through the packs. So I was right in that this is the type of energy that is generated if the, if the symbols are over here that's how much it costs to play it the T is a type of card that it is for example this one right here is a terrain card then here we have a base card and the biggest problem I think we're gonna have M as in monster obviously R is hold on a second here it's hiding on me Seeing it. Oh, that's right. This is a reaction card. Reaction cards are cards that you play on your opponent's turn. The only ones that you can play on your opponent's turn. Ship. O. Oh. So they have all sorts of little symbols here. They got the costs. And then, for example, like this guy, his type of weapon is down here. And then they can affect each other based on that. Um, my biggest concern is I haven't seen any Q cards. And Q means headquarters. So, and the problem is to play the game, each player has to have a headquarters. So, I, w I went through the pile of what we have already and I didn't see it. So, it's really cool with this game is, is the play, the, basically the way the play phase works is you, first you each play, you take turns obviously, so you would roll for it or whatever. And first player will allocate their points, which means they take the points that are, they earned off of here, right? And then they can use those points to spend them. Next, after they allocate their points, they have an engagement. So that's kind of like uh, plotting fight terrain. Then they'll have where they can play other cards, such as they can use their points to put ships, people, monsters, whatever it is they wish to do. Then you have your weapons uh, phase. Then you come back to playing more cards if you need to. Then you'll have a discard phase back down to your minimum hand size. And of course, finally end with a draw phase, which is unusual. So they draw at the end of the turn instead of the beginning. Very unusual way to play it, but I mean, really, I guess it works out the same. It just gives you an extra turn to think about it, unless you pull a reaction card that you can use after you've already discarded. You're not likely to do too much discarding. So yeah, there, and there's all sorts of sub rules. Uh, the website I used is, uh, uh, GeoCities, Eric B. Smith, GE Rules, 2.1 HTML. So shout out to him. It's just, I had to Google it, basically. Um, Galactic Empires, TCG Rules, and that's why I came up with it. So, it's pretty cool. You know, I have a feeling, though, that um, I might have to, like, buy two headquarters cards just to be able to actually play this game. But you need not worry. I will do what I got to do to make it happen. So, because I'm definitely curious to see how the game itself plays. I have a feeling, that, oh, a Pulsar. It's pretty cool. Yeah, with space, a large asteroid, there's a lot of opportunity. React card. There's a lot of opportunity for you to be able to um, use just all sorts of things going on in space itself. And this is kind of like a spaceship battle slash monster battle game. So it should be interesting to see how that works. As far as, oh, there was an L. That's a luck card. Hmm. Oh. B, equipment. Yeah, makes sense. H is hazard. Yeah. As you can see, not a single Q yet. And the O looks a lot. Oh, wow, look at that. Luxury liner, huh? Hmm. It's crazy expensive too. Yeah, these packs are very inexpensive would be the nice way to put it. But it's fine. Guess they had to cut costs somewhere, right? In order to make it happen. A doctor. Since some of them you'll note they'll have a slash. That means you can use it as either or. Ooh, nice. Comet impact. Planet. 
so it's definitely different and it's cool because like I said you'll be uh, using a variety of cards here to defend your your sector of space and um, we'll definitely show you how it's all set up and played it looks like it does require a bit of space but we'll make it work we always do ancient spacefarer see our crew nice you definitely want crewmen to be able to man your ships that's for sure Ooh, corporate minesweeper warp funnel transporter malfunction we've seen that Ooh, look at that space yacht oh, it's gonna get old chamber and parasites corporate frigate divergent anomaly offensive electronic warfare and i'm gonna flip it over and watch yep small moon navigation all right so yeah it's there's a lot going on so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out we'll definitely have to struggle to get our hands on a um, copy of the a headquarters card really unfortunate that they didn't have any in here there wasn't a lot of thought on that part because you do want to make your game playable for pretty much anybody yeah I'm not really a fan of some of this card design I'm not really a fan of the color choices in some of the cases here um, overall it just looks cheap you know what I mean I mean you can see it yourself you know yeah I said it kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh um, that's mostly just the framework the Yu-Gi-Oh artwork itself is, is quite lovely I mean there are a couple that are kind of corny but as a whole you know the Yu-Gi-Oh artwork is there's some lovely ones and those are important yeah I don't understand why they wouldn't put any headquarter cards in their primary set because it would seem to me as though that would be a good way to make it so that people can play your game. I mean, you're killing me here with this though. With this reverse back and forth thing is making things a smidge of a nuisance. All right. So what we'll end up doing is I'll end up having to order some headquarter cards for this game. Hopefully I can just find some on eBay that are just straight out just the headquarter cards because I would prefer to not have to buy too much. There's a high likelihood I'll end up having to buy a starter deck or something like that. Hmm. With my luck, they'll only have one in there and then I'll have to buy another one to make it happen. If I do, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just take out the uh, headquarter card and use the rest of these cards to build build our decks because we want you know it's just kind of my thing I guess you know there's no real rule that I have to do it I mean there's been a couple of videos where I just bought two starter decks and they threw down so so it's not that big of a deal but it's because there's some games where it's literally impossible to to be able to um To be, able, to be able to actually play with just the cards in it. And this, you know, we had that problem with the Star Trek The Collectible Card Game where both the players shared Kirk's body and McC Kirk, McCoy, and Spock. Spotty, what am I doing here? <laughs> and so that, that proved to be a challenge of sorts. And supposedly there's a bunch of promo cards out there, so that'd be kind of cool if we could like get our hands on some of those, but we'll see. You know? And then what I'll end up eventually having after I play someone with this game, with the two decks that I make here, I'll actually take all the cards and just make one deck. That was a little bent there. One deck to throw down with in case I ever run into anyone who plays this. Uh, I keep all the decks that I've made from these games. You know, I still have... Ultimate Combat, and the Skater, you know, Super Heat Skateboard, TCG. So we, we definitely keep them just in case. Haven't ran into anyone yet, but you never know what'll happen, right? All right, so there we go. You've seen all the cards, it's empty. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take all this, we'll build two decks, and then we'll throw down with it. So this concludes my video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can.
Peace out.